hey guys welcome back to the next video and in this video i want to show you how you can customize your charts like in this case we have created the bar and line chart how you can create how you can customize the um, line or bar color over here in this case so this is sometimes required because you want to follow some standard colors which is as per your organization or as per your data visualization needs so what you can do is uh, if you have not followed my previous video i think i have explained there also but not sure so let me quickly show it here because the battery is also going down or let me first of all figure out a plug all right now i have the power i can continue and uh, what i wanted to show is how you can customize by using the color um, and the color is uh, you can specify the dictionary first of all and uh, within the dictionary you specify the color parameter which is rgb and you can see 120 150 and uh, 220 maybe and yeah that's pretty much it so you execute this so we have changed the color let's see this is the orange that we have for bar we have changed the color over here uh, we are not executing this because and not this let's add the trace let's add this let's add this all right it has not changed our color um let's go ahead and see this for goals dictionary color let's try to change it something else which is let's say 150 150 and maybe 150 all right uh, marker is dictionary and color is good um, let's go ahead and execute this all right why it has not shown now i remember this is trace one if you see both were trace zero so now let me execute it again so this kind of issue may happen so execute this execute this execute this and now you have a different color right 150 150 150 if you want you can change it again to 150 to 170 to 220 i think that is what i specified earlier execute this execute this 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 and i have a different color so this way you can even uh, customize the line as well based on what you need and not only this rgb but uh, your hexadecimal which is one two three rff is going to work fine all right something which is very bright blue so that is what i wanted to show you um, in this video and i have uh, mostly run uh, run it very quickly because uh, I, I guess if you have followed all of my videos uh, you have become expert by now into specifying why data is why data is required why layout is required why figure and this plot is required and this is part of the standard method within the plotly charting so so i have not explained it again so that's pretty much it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic